Hey guys, what is up? And welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. So I am pulling up to my mom's house because I I just cleaned out my closet. Uh, actually, I cleaned it out a little bit ago and I've had the stuff just sitting in my hallway for like a month now. And I know that you guys like for me to sell things on Poshmark, but literally I just, I do not have the patience to do it. However, she does. So <laughs> I have brought everything to her house for her to list on her Poshmark, which I'm gonna be listing down in my description box in case you guys wanna shop some of the things. It's like two bags full of clothes, shoes, a lot. So, um, definitely check that out. I'm going to show you like in the back. Oh, hold on. I'm going to show you in the back how much stuff it actually is. In the back? No. All right. Oh gosh. Look. These will be on there. <laughs> because I don't wear them. I have a lot of stuff. All right. So this is like everything you guys. So it'll be linked. Okay, so all of that is dropped off. Now, I okay, so here's what I really should be doing. I'm supposed to be heading home, and not to mention I kind of got a late start today, but I should be heading home to pull out my sweaters and jackets and coats from the garage that I had vacuum sealed in there. And I'm supposed to be cleaning, and I wanna shampoo my carpets today. Um, however, there is this jacket, not jacket, this coat jacket from the Fendi show. I'll insert it right here. I really feel like I could get my tailor to do this. So I am contemplating stopping by a thrift store to see if I could thrift a coat similar to this silhouette and then take it to the tailor to have her chop basically one side of it off to create this look for me so i'm headed to the thrift store now even though i should really be going home and i should be responsible we're gonna just stop i just want to see if i can't find anything similar to this i'm gonna leave i'm gonna go home but i do want to see if i could find something similar to this because i i love this and actually to be fair i have a chocolate brown and a tan um, coat that is just a slightly shorter than that one that technically I could do it to. The tan one is almost dead on that color. However, I just don't know that I wanna do it to those just yet. Both of them are cashmere, so it would be like great quality if I did it, but I don't know, I don't know. I want to, I just wanna, I just wanna see if I could thrift one instead. And then also I know that I'm going to be probably wanting to get rid of some more coats and things like that once I unpack and see what's in there because to be honest, I kind of like forgot exactly what is in there. Yeah, I need to like look. By the way, this Christian Dior, the like lip oil, I kind of thought it might be like overhyped, but I gotta be honest, like, I love the smell. I love the consistency of it because it's like thick, but not sticky. And it smells like a minty vanilla and it lasts on your lips really long. So I personally think it's worth it and I kind of want to get some more, but yeah, I highly recommend it. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested. So nice, love it. Okay, yeah, what am I doing? I'm so sidetracking all over the place. I need to figure out which coats I'm gonna get rid of. I need to get rid of some coats. I definitely need to get rid of some coats. And whatever coats I do decide to get rid of, I will probably list it on my Poshmark because that's easier, you know? It's like a little snap snap and that's it. I hate doing clothing because I hate when people ask me for measurements because I don't know. And I don't really wanna pull it out and figure it out and take measurements. And like, that's this is why I don't resell, you know? So. Do I want to go to this one right here? I mean, I am passing it up. Might as well stop over here. So I'm going to stop at a couple. And I mean, like, I'm going to be so quickly in and out. Um, I'm going to be so in and out. 
because I don't want to do this all day and I have to be responsible and get done the things that I have to get done today so ah! okay let's see what we can find I mean if you guys haven't guessed this is kind of more of like a, a, a day with me because this is gonna be all over the place okay all over the place but you know take the ride take the journey with me today okay they are definitely in the middle of remodeling this one but i actually like this nice little metal plate Ooh, this is kind of interesting wait crooks and castles i actually like this brand of sweater it's a very good quality brand i'm gonna get this okay obviously i got things that were not part of the plan but i had um american express gift cards that i used and so i didn't really technically have to pay for anything but i got these leather western boots because i recently got rid of my black cowboy boots they were starting to get a little bit worse for wear so got these i like the fact that it's a round toe and it has a little bit more of a different look they were only 17.99 and then the only other thing I got is this graphic tee because I find that I've been really like pulling for them a lot lately. So I spotted this um, Selena one right here and it is like the official Selena merch. So I thought that was pretty cool. All in all, my total was $25.98, not bad at all. Okay, so what am I doing now? I am going to head back to my side of town, kind of see what they have over there. And if they don't have anything over there, then I think I'm going to go ahead and handle my responsibilities and do what I'm actually supposed to be doing today. So, yeah. So, I am outside of the last Goodwill that I'm going to actually go to. Um... I don't really think I'm gonna find what I'm looking for in here but it's probably for the best after this we're gonna head to the store because I need to pick up more coffee can't run out of coffee um, a snack for later I'm gonna show you guys a really good snack that I love to eat um, what else everything and anything to avoid what I actually need to do today <laughs> but it is what it is let's go and I might I might be a little low energy today and that's simply because I'm like getting over I don't have COVID um, but I do get really bad allergies and I feel like my nose was running into my throat which is why my throat is a little bit itchy um so yeah I'm just kind of like getting over that and I just have not been sleeping the best I've been waking up several times throughout the night so yeah that's all it is um okay now let's go this is really cute i don't need anything like this but all saints is a really good brand i don't know it actually would be pretty cute but i style this though that's the question let's see how much it is determining factor I don't know. This is actually another really cool find. Um, especially considering how on trend the utility trend is. And that's actually a great price. Hmm. I don't really need anything like this, but super cute. This would be so cute if it wasn't like so damaged. But you can kind of see the pilling. So... Yeah, I don't really think I'm going to see anything. I should just give it up, huh? And I don't need to be in here anyway. Uh, all right, just one more little look around. What a bummer. All right.
talk about a vintage beauty. <clears throat> Let's see, what's this one? You guys know I have a ton of these, but this one is really good. I don't need it. Talking myself out of it. But this is actually so good. Oh, the sleeves zip off. Okay, maybe now I do need it because it'll make a cute denim vest. Let's see. Okay, so here it is without the sleeve. I didn't want to do both. I have to really think about if I would wear this. Like, what would I wear this with? How would this add to my wardrobe and not take up room? Will I actually wear it? It's the real question. What do you guys think? Should I get it? Obviously, it'll be too late by the time you see this, but I think I definitely want to get this. It's like a little pajama onesie made out of sweatpant material. I think it's super cute, and that's just <laughs> for practical reasons, but... What about this? I don't know. Yeah. <clears throat> it's definitely been several, several days. I went home and did none of what I was supposed to. So we're gonna pick it back up today. I made my coffee, it's the morning. I'm so sad I chipped my cup. But um, I, hold on, let me sit. I am, like I need to get stash neutered ASAP. I haven't gotten him neutered yet because when I got him, he was so young and he was actually a little bit younger than he really should have been to be separate, separated from his mom. And so um, I was like, at first I was just like, gonna just let him have his balls, you know, and just live footloose and fancy free. But now I'm starting to see what a problem it is. And <laughs> he's been spraying on like, you can't leave a pile of clothes anywhere in this house or he will spray it. And I've had to wash so many things. I He's done it in my closet several times and I've had to, just now, I just had to wash or hand clean two different pair of designer shoes. One pair of baby blue suede Manolo Blahnik pumps. I don't know if you guys remember those, but I just had to go scrub and wash those. And then these denim Chanel, um, mules but like they're like heels that I haven't even worn yet and thank god they are dark so you can't see but I had to scrub those it's starting to become a pain so I'm gonna have to definitely schedule and figure that out I've just let my hair down from the pineapple I'm about to put it into shape do a little bit of makeup I'm not 100% what I'm gonna do today I kind of want to show you guys a haul of the things that I've gotten recently without making it so formal which I might do in case you guys have missed any of like my thrift trips or anything that I might have shown in a previous vlog. I'm just going to show my rack of most recent things. And then what else? I really need to go down and get some sweaters out of my garage and some jackets because again, I never did go do that. And there are a few in there that I really want to pull out and make sure that I wear this season because I'm like really excited for them. So I'm probably going to do that at some point today. Um, I don't know if I'm going to take you in there with me. My garage is so embarrassing, you guys. Like, it just looks like an episode of Hoarders because, not because of me, but also my husband has kept it, like, terrible. He's the kind who will pull things out of his car and leave it in the garage and just, like, drive off without organizing it. So, his mission is to make sure that we go into the new year with the garage completely clean and organized. So, he's going to be working on that every weekend until then because he doesn't have the excuse that it's too hot anymore. Um, so, Yeah. That is that. I do need to run to Sephora to get some face wash because I ran out of my Kiehl's face wash. So yeah, I don't know. So I'm going to pick you guys back up in a second when I start my makeup because I got some new beauty products. Um, I bought them myself at Sephora and I've been using them for the last couple weeks because I wanted to just try them out before I tell you guys about them. And yeah, the hype is real. Some of these items have been hype, and I'm like, the hype is real. Okay, I get it. I get it. I get it. So, yeah. Um, I'm going to pick you guys back up, show you guys what I've been using to do my makeup recently. And then, yeah, you're just going to go with me for the rest of today, and then I'll end the vlog here. But I will be showing you uh, anything else. Like, I might stop by the thrift store today, maybe, but we'll see. But I'm going to be showing you guys a lot, so stay tuned. This is real life. I have you guys on top of several jars of hair creams and moisturizers. So the first thing I like to do before I do anything to my face is 
moisturize and I'm using the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cream. You guys know they've sent this to me probably twice now, but I still ran out and I decided to go back and get the bigger one. The bigger one is just definitely worth it price-wise for how many ounces it is and how fast like you actually go through it. This is it right here. I love this stuff so much. So I use that, I like to moisturize my face. I do that because I don't wear foundation. I don't like to wear foundation unless I'm going to like an event or something. Because day to day, I just, I touch my face too much for that. And I'm not cautious. I will have makeup everywhere. So I just can't do it. Um, using, I'm almost out of this. The Chart Tarp. Yeah, if I don't get my syllables together. The Tarte Shape Tape is what I use. I am almost out of this. But I literally just put it under each eye. And if I have any spots that I'm trying to cover, which right now I don't really have too many, um, I will put it over those. And the thing is, is like, even if I have like other lighter spots, I don't tend to like really, really cover them because it's still like my face and skin. And for the most part, I like it to look like I'm not really wearing makeup or if I am, it's just a very light, natural layer. So... I just do around my eye area because I'm slight, you know, when you're lighter like me, you tend to show like dark circles under your eyes. Like even right now, because I literally kind of just woke up and I didn't even give my face a chance to settle. You can still kind of see the puffiness under my eyes, which is normally how it is when I first wake up. So um, eventually that'll settle and you'll see in better light like the pup puffiness of me going to sleep will be gone but yeah I just kind of like rub this in and I like to do the the concealer after my moisturizer pretty immediately so that I still have the moisture from my moisturizer to make it like a little bit more blendable and to me that just like ah, that really helps um next I'm gonna do my eyebrows I'm not gonna bore you guys with this I feel like eyebrows are eyebrows everybody does them more or less the same but different and personally I don't like seeing people do their eyebrows <laughs> so I'm just gonna skip through this but I do need to probably consider getting another one of these soon because we have hit the bottom so yeah let me do my eyebrows and then I'm gonna come back I'm gonna see if I need to reshape them because typically um this is my favorite eyebrow to do because it's the most in shape but this one I busted my eyebrow twice here and here when I was a kid, so hair doesn't really grow fully in those areas and it, it never will again because I had stitches there. Um, but if it's ever hard for me to fill in my eyebrows, that's how I know it's time to pluck and reshape them because when they're freshly plucked and reshaped, it's very easy and simple and quick to do my brows. So let me do that and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm moving you guys up a little bit higher because I feel like it'll be easier to see. But I recently got some things from Rare Beauty. I've been hearing people talk about it and it's always sold out at Sephora. So I was like, okay, clearly there must be something to it if it's always sold out. So let's go ahead and give it a try. Now, I got a concealer and I got this to use as a bronzer. But I will say that I feel like I wish I would have gotten like maybe a couple shades lighter maybe but I've still been able to make this one work now I use this with this like very dense brush that I got when I used to get a uh, boxy charm so I feel like these might really work the best with a dense brush and a little goes such a long way like when I tell you you only need very little like that's it that's it that's all you need that's all you need and you're about to see like how it just like really <laughs> spreads. Like, look, see that? That was all you needed, all I needed. And then I'm gonna add some blush. I'm gonna do the other side. And I mean, these are like, like th these are not dollops. These are like, I scrape the brush off and then I do it because these literally will probably last me for the rest of my life. <laughs> 
a little goes such a long way oh my gosh so yeah and then I'll decide like if I want to build it up a little bit more and I feel like I kind of want to build it up just a little bit more so I'm gonna do maybe like two more dots and I work um section to section because it does kind of dry a little fast so I don't want it to be like drying on one side while I'm doing the other and then it doesn't blend as well but like you see it's just it works and I actually really like this I am gonna try and get like a lighter shade though um because I feel like this one is gonna be really good for me in the summer because it is a little bit darker and more rich but I mean I can make it work for now obviously because I just use less but yeah it just, I just like the way that it looks. It's very nice. This lighting is terrible. This angle is terrible. All you can see are the bags under my eyes, but I promise when we get out of this terrible bathroom lighting, it will be better. Next, so I have these two different blushes and they both are really, really pretty. This one is so pretty. This one is also equally pretty. But for today, I think I'll go with the darker one just because I feel like that's when you guys might be more curious how it looks on my skin tone. So I literally do like a little boop, like that's it. That's it. That's all you need because like I said, the products go a long way and they have a good shade range for if you have darker skin tones too. So that's one thing I really do like about it. See, look, it's like, yeah. Do I want to do a little more? Maybe just a teeny, teeny scotch. Okay, so yeah. Um, I want to try some of the other blushes as well, like maybe some of the more rosy pink ones, but later because I feel like for my skin tone and for what I like, I like um, more peachy, mauve tones than I like pinky tones. And especially for fall and then even more, especially because of my hair color right now, I just feel like it looks the best. So yeah, I just want to stick to um, the corals and the mobs and the peaches, you know, because that's just what I like the best. And I also feel like because it's a liquid, it just feels more like skin I don't know wait till you see when I set it but I also got the highlighter to try they had a couple different ones they had some that I wanted to try more than this one but this was like one of the only ones that they had like left when I went to go get this so clearly the other ones work really well and again a little goes a long way like this one it's a little bit more wet so I don't worry so much about it drying and I use a softer brush to blend this one in because again, it's like it just feels like a softer, lighter uh, formula. So I don't mind using like a softer brush. And this is my normal highlighter brush I use for even my powder highlighter anyway. So yeah, it's just like, I don't know. This light is really not doing it justice, but it's so cute. And guess what? That's it. That's all my makeup. And then I'm going to put on mascara. I still am using the Valentino. And I'm using the MAC Fix Plus Coconut. Um, but yeah, and then I just, I need to get some more of this because like I'm really running low. And I, this, it might be pricey, but this mascara, it works. It works so well. I, I don't know. I've only seen these where I could rebuy it online. And this one is one that they sent me. So I really wish that they would send me another one because I'm out. But it does work really well. I'm going to show you guys right now. Like this is just one coat. I don't know what it is. If it's like, I know the, the formula is probably really good too. But I also just really like the brush. The brush does a really good job of separating you see, it does a really good job of separating. So I like it. I really like this mascara a lot. And I'm going to be very sad when I have to, when I run out because 
I don't know if I'm gonna want to order it online kind of like to just go in and buy stuff for instant gratification purposes so after this I might try one by Sephora collection and if I do go to Sephora today to get my um, face wash then I will go ahead and see if I could find the Sephora one I saw somebody recommend it and the person who I saw it was Julia uh, with Julian Hunter Havens their channel she said it worked really well and I saw her use it. It looked like it could work really well for me. So I might try that one out. Okay, I think I'm gonna do a second coat. Okay, I think that's good. One of my eyebrows grows better than the other. I feel like this one grows way better than this one. This is always my most annoying eyebrow or not eyebrow, eyelash. Um, and then I don't typically do my bottom lashes unless I'm doing a full face of makeup because for me it bleeds and I don't like the darkness under my eyes. Let me see if I can show you guys this in different lighting. Hold on. There, you see? Just a much more natural look. I'm going to get my brush. I kind of want to blend up here a little bit more, but yeah, this is what it looks like. The dangers of having your coffee in the bathroom. Definitely dropped a piece of mascara in my coffee. And um, because I can't find it, I'm still going to drink it anyway. It's such a good cup. The only exception I make <laughs> is if it's a bug. If it's a bug, I can't do it. I mean, I feel like I could have gotten it out. I don't know. Yes. Where's my money? Look on, look on the... Um, the dresser under the tv mm. maybe i'll go stir and see if i can bring it up okay i think it was a false alarm because i did put like chocolate and other things in here and i think that that's probably what it was because when i went to go try to find it it wasn't there so um let's just pray i don't die all right now i'm gonna do my edges i use this edge control right now and I've actually really been liking it because typically I would use this. But the thing with that is after a while, if you try to like reuse it every day, it flakes. And the thing with this one is it doesn't. So it makes it a lot easier for me um, to like wear my wash and go longer because I'm not worried about washing my hair because of my edges. I like it. My daughter had one that worked really well. I can't remember what the name of it was, but that one worked really well. But there are some that I absolutely do not like at all and have tried over the years. So I kind of had stopped using them for a while. But after trying my daughter's, I don't remember what the reason was for why I tried it. But after trying it, I was like, oh, maybe I need to try edge control again. So... I'm almost out of that one. I think I'll probably try to buy another brand just to try after. We'll see. But it's, it's pretty cool. It also smells pretty good too. So there's that. I don't know about you, but for me, like how the stuff smells that I put in my hair is actually important to me. <laughs> because I, I have a sensitive nose. So whatever it smells like, I'm going to be able to smell it all day. So I need to catch whiffs of something that I enjoy. But yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. Really trying to decide how I'm going to do content for the holiday season because I just don't know that I have it in me to do Vlogmas the way that I did last year, even though you guys really enjoyed it. Like, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. And I really need to decide because if I am going to do Vlogmas then I need to cheat like I did last time <laughs> which is like I started filming like the week of Thanksgiving which for me is this upcoming week so that was the only way that I was able to like really do it but then another part of me wants to be a little bit more in the moment this holiday season so if I'm like worried about filming everything then I won't really be able to be in the moment like I want, I feel like. So I think what I'm gonna do, every time I talk out loud, like my dilemma, I always end up thinking of the resolution to my problem <laughs> before I'm done. But 
I think what I'm going to do is just like film holiday moments or any moments that I want to capture and share and then just like piece them all together into a weekly vlog because I feel like it'll honestly make for a slightly more entertaining vlog and I know you guys like seeing the normal day-to-day -day stuff and I do too but um you know I'll probably include some of that stuff in there too like what I'm doing right now but oh I need another blow dryer you guys this blow dryer is on its last leg I done dropped this thing so many times like it's starting to separate right here okay I'm gonna have to figure out a different blow dryer soon oh did I just snap it back into place oh look we're, we're back in the game hold on let me blow dry this into place and I'll come back all right the hair is done I just really like the way that when I did the that's just, I, you guys remember when I like cut my hair because I was tired of the blonde ends that were like straight so anyways I cut it into like a shape and at first I wasn't sure because I was like I don't know because I don't know maybe because it was shorter okay yeah I don't know if maybe because it was shorter I couldn't tell but I wasn't sure if it was going to grow into the shape that I wanted and now it is like this is the shape that I wanted it to grow into so even, ah! even as it gets longer I still want it to be like you know in this shape so um yeah pleased pleased I love it all right now let's figure out what we're gonna do for today so I am fully about to be dressed. I'm in the middle of filming a TikTok right now, a styling TikTok, but I'm gonna show you guys. I'm gonna haul something right now that I can actually show you what it looks like. So I recently got these Isabel Morant sneakers. I really like the new ones, but they're quite expensive right now. And these are fairly easy to find for an affordable price. I think I might've paid maybe like $110 for these. And then I saw this when I was looking for these. And I just feel like they go together. So I'm going to try to style these up. Not try. I am styling these up together. And then I'm going to show you what the look actually looks like by inserting the TikTok. I love styling up pieces that nobody likes anymore. Let me show you what I mean. In the car ready to go what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to sephora i need to get my face washed because i'm just like completely out like i cannot squeeze any more out of there than like i already have and then also i kind of want to see if they have any more of the dior lip oils because now that i know i love it i kind of want to get another one and then after that i think i want to get some coffee or something like maybe stop for a snack or something like that and then i'll probably head back home I, I don't really think I'm going to make it to my garage today because this upcoming week is supposed to be in the 70s, so it's not going to be cold. I don't feel like I need to unpack my coats. And any coats that I may possibly need, I already have a ton of them unpacked. So, yeah, I, I don't think I'm going to be getting to that today. But, yeah, that's kind of like what I have planned so far. I did want to talk to you guys about um, a particular fashion topic. So we're gonna kind of like get into that, but we're gonna do it while we drive. Oh my gosh, it's kinda hot in here. My car has been like sitting in the sun. So it's like directly where I am at, even though it's cool outside, it's like very hot in my car. So uh, let's take a different way out of here. All right, so here's the thing that I've been noticing. And it's one of those things that I have been guilty of and something that I don't want to happen is I think that we shouldn't become essentially slaves to fashion. And what I mean by that is feeling like every single time something new comes out, we need to get it or being so lost in not knowing what our personal style is that we kind of just fall for anything. You know that whole saying, like, if you don't stand for something, you're, you'll fall for anything. I feel like that translates and applies across the board to many different things. So one of the things I have actually written down and I have my notes right here so I didn't forget, but I have eight steps 
to not become a slave to fashion and to like kind of build your foundation. And the first step is to figure out what you like and why. And this is really important because what you like and why may have absolutely nothing to do with fashion or trends. Maybe what you like is some, you know, something that's comfortable. Maybe you love to dress in comfortable things because maybe you're a stay-at-home mom or you're a mom on the go or whatever it is that you do for a living requires that you be comfortable. So if that is the foundation of your style, then really you need to focus more on things that are going to be comfortable for that reason. Say you go into an office and you have a corporate life. So the majority of what you pick has to be translatable to where to work because of the kind of job that you have. But say that you like things that are a little bit more classic because you like to buy only a few things instead of a lot and you like everything to kind of work together like a capsule wardrobe. Well, then you need to make sure that whatever you're buying focuses only on that. And then obviously if you have a corporate job, you have a weekend life or in um, a going out life so you're going to want to figure out a way to take pieces from your corporate life to your weekend life your corporate life to your going out life because that's how you're going to get the most out of your wardrobe no matter what the style is so kind of figure out what it is that you like on your body and why it is that you like that particular thing on your body and it could be something as simple as this look this silhouette is flattering for me that's okay too. Whatever it is, figure it out and understand why. Because knowing the why is gonna really help you figure out whether or not you should be getting something or not. The second thing you're gonna wanna do is after you kind of figure out what you like and why, you're going to want to experiment. And I think that thrifting is a phenomenal way to experiment. It's one of those things where um, you can experiment without spending a ton of money. So experiment with different silhouettes, different styles to see what makes you feel confident, what makes you feel good. You know, you want to have those outfits that when you go out, like you just feel like that girl. You know what I'm saying? A good rule of thumb for this is you want to experiment and wear things that if you went out and somebody said, I don't like your outfit, it wouldn't affect you at all. Like, can't nobody tell me that I don't look good in this. That's the kind of confidence you need to have when you're wearing whatever it is because when you have that kind of confidence in your outfit or however you're presenting yourself, it's really hard for somebody to make you feel bad about it. So that's the kind of vibe that you need to search for when you're experimenting with your style and what it is that you like. Okay, sorry, it, it got kind of hot in my car and my phone overheated and turned off, okay? But the next step or tip, we can call these steps or tips. Um, for me, I feel like they're interchangeable, but step three, pay attention to a design elements and materials and craftsmanship over the designer tag. And the reason I say this is because there is kind of like an uprising of fast fashion even making its way into the designer realm that not every designer piece is actually made well. And if you go into boutiques and stores and you kind of like touch things, you'll start to realize that designer does not equate to quality. So. You wanna look at design elements and design details that you really love and kind of focus on those types of pieces. You wanna focus on the craftsmanship. You wanna focus on if it's a good material. My favorite materials are 100% cotton. I love linen. I love silk. I love wool within, you know, not itchy wool. I like merino wool because it's not as itchy. And um, I like uh, mohair. I like angora. I like these natural fibers and natural materials because for me it just lasts so much better it's more breathable it's healthier to be against your skin polyester is obviously made out of plastic and not the best thing to be on your skin and you will see that a lot of designer items are made out of polyester for as much money as you're paying it's still not even like a really good material so I'm not against polyester especially because a lot of the clothing that I like to thrift in the 80s was made from like polyester 
but if you're going to pay up and you want to have pieces in your wardrobe that you're never going to want to get rid of you're going to want to pay attention to these things so even if you do feel okay wearing polyester understand and know what kind of design elements it needs to have in order for you to want to wear it something i typically pay attention to that lets me know about the quality of an item also is the stitching when the stitching is done really neat and finished or is like covered with additional fabric and the stitches are hidden or like you know there's different techniques when it comes to clothing construction that will really show you if a piece is quality or not and I could literally pick out a quality piece without ever seeing the actual tag that tells me what it's made out of or even seeing who the designer is and if it's even made from a designer so once you train your eye and your fingertips to really be able to sense these things you're going to find it a whole lot easier to pick out quality clothing like I've gotten to the point now where I can even see something and tell more or less what type of material it's made from. So that's kind of like where you want to be when you're trying to build a quality wardrobe. And again, all of these tips are so that you do not become a slave to fashion, a slave to trends. You want to build staple pieces that you're going to like no matter what's in style. Number four create a vision board and change it as often as you feel inspired. Sometimes I feel like we um, can get into the habit of sticking to one thing so much so that we get bored with our own style. And obviously we don't want that. Style is supposed to be fun. Fashion is supposed to be fun. It's supposed to be a creative outlet. So it's okay to experiment in kind of like change things and one of the ways that I like to do this is if I notice that I'm starting to like a particular thing sometimes I will create a vision board with a lot of that thing on it looking at different ways to style it to be inspired and if it if I feel like it's going to work in my wardrobe I'll start incorporating those things in I'll incorporate them slowly by maybe just getting one or two pieces initially and if I figure out by wearing it that you know what I feel like this has some longevity in my style in my wardrobe I think I want to get more of this then I'll get more of it and I keep so many different types of vision boards and inspiration boards just for this reason because my style is constantly changing and, and evolving and even though there are things that I will always like I'm always willing and open to adding new elements and to me this is what starts to create a unique style to you this is what starts to create something that like when people see it they're like oh that's so and so or I could totally see so and so wearing this because at the end of the day even if you incorporate new trends and new things it's still at the core you step five and this is a big one do not let money hinder you and what I mean by that is hello thrifting like you can designer things are not as hard to get as people think it really isn't like there's so many different creative ways to find what you like for a good price. And my favorite way to do that is the pre-loved market. One of the things that is terrible about consumption or consumerism and that being pushed is it's designed to make you want to spend all of your money on this particular thing instead of investing more into your future and what's going to make your life comfortable. Like fashion is great and fun and everything, but... At the end of the day, if you've spent $100,000 investing into your wardrobe, but you don't own a piece of property or you don't have investments or you're not investing in... See, I feel like they didn't want me to tell you that because the camera overheated and cut, cut off. But um, one of the things that I feel like is the problem with consumption, like I was saying, like, so if you have, if you've spent $100,000 invested into your wardrobe, but you don't own land or you don't have investments or you don't have something that is adding back into your quality of life, the priorities are not where they need to be because I'm not going to spend money that I can allocate to something else that in the long run is going to enrich my quality of life. Now, if I am deciding to invest in fashion or these, you know, pieces, then it needs to add to my life in the sense that they're going to be heirloom pieces, pieces that are going to gain value over time. That can be a part of my estate that my kids can make money off of later. You know what I'm saying? So 
a lot of times for me, like somebody who's really into fashion, when I'm buying designer things or really crazy, unique, antique or vintage finds, this is what's in my mind. I kind of have an idea of where I feel like fashion is going to be 20, 30, 40 years from now. And when I'm shopping now, even now when I'm thrifting and doing those things, I think of the pieces that I'm buying and I ask myself, where do I think this piece will be? 20 30 40 years from now and if it will have value and if i feel like it will then i'll still buy it but not overeating not overpaying rent not overpaying a bill not over any of those things you see what i'm saying so definitely be mindful of that the next step is something that i've talked about in my stories i shared this um tiktok that i saw on thrift and tells page which was like literally the way that I feel in a video and I loved it and basically what she was talking about is how she owned a store that designers would come in and buy pieces that were vintage for reference because they would take those pieces deconstruct them figure out how they were made and then kind of create something from that to release in the following season and I tell you guys all the time trends repeat themselves you if you've had 20 years of fashion under your belt you're probably in the cycle now where you're starting to see things repeat themselves so I always love to look for vintage versions of things when I see new trends. This is why thrifting trends was such a thing on my channel because I knew, oh, I could find this. Like I could find a better version of this actually. And a lot of times the vintage version is better than the newer version, a little bit more unique than the, the newer version. And it's not gonna be something that you go out and you see everybody in. So always look for the original reference piece for the trends that you see today, because I guarantee you, you can find them if you look. I mean, it might take a little bit of digging, but sometimes, well, for me all the time, it's the thrill of the hunt. Like, I don't always necessarily like finding the thing that's easy to find because then it's easy to find for everybody. And when you're a creative to the core, especially when it comes to your fashion, you, you put work into it. Like, you want to be the only one with this thing. You don't want it to be plastered all over the internet. So, you know, get into the thrifting, get into the second hand. I'm telling you, it's where the gems are. Step seven, and I only have one more step after this, is when you feel like you're getting bored with your wardrobe, but you still have really good quality pieces in there, you have to get really good at reimagining things. So even if it's something like a pencil skirt that you wore for years and it's really great quality, but you just no longer feel the desire to wear it, Take it to your tailor and get it turned into a mini and see if that helps you reimagine how you want to wear it. Let's say you have a blazer and you just, you've worn it to death and now you just don't feel like you want to wear it anymore. Go take it to your tailor, have them crop it, have them change out the buttons and see if you're not going to wear it more because there's always a way to reimagine pieces that you already have. And I think a lot of people don't give enough credit to tailoring and getting clothes reconstructed into something new because a lot of times, especially if you have a great quality piece like real leather real wool real linen it's gonna cost you a whole lot less to get that piece um altered than to go try to find a newer version of it and then not only that if you get that piece altered it's going to be a one-of-a-kind piece you're going to be the only one with it so it's another way to add um depth and interest to your outfits so get really good at reimagining things and seeing when you're bored how you can get something changed or altered to fit what you feel like your current style is and then last but not least and this is the most important piece do not buy anything anything at all without understanding why you're buying it and i say that because especially when it comes to designer if you're buying something because you want people to view you a certain way or you want the perception to be a certain thing you're buying it for the wrong reason if you're buying something because you know it's a great price and it's a good deal but you're not even sure how you're gonna wear it you're buying it for the wrong reason if you're buying something because you feel like it's just what you should buy because you see everybody else wearing it you're buying it for the wrong reason when you are purchasing things because this is your hard-earned money like money is not growing on trees and if it is please point me to the direction of the tree to the crop to the farm that is harvesting money i would love to be a part of it but money isn't growing on trees we are working and killing ourselves taking time away from our family taking time away from our interests our passions to like make this money so if you're going to spend it make it count 
understand why you are buying something and if you're not buying it because it just gives you pure joy or because you can think of a thousand different ways to wear it and it's gonna really just be the thing you wanna wear every single day if you could. If you knew you wouldn't be looked at crazy for wearing it every single day you would. If, if it doesn't make you feel like that, you don't need to be buying it. Like honestly, let's, let's make it so that our closets have more value than just a bunch of things that are there just because. Because I'm telling you, when I clean out my closet and I think about some of the things I thrifted because I'm like, oh, I, maybe I could work with this. And like, it just sits there and I never wear it. And I think about how much money that was. I get so mad at myself because I'm like, I could have bought, shoot, I could have bought that Christian Dior bag that I saw that was really cute that I would still love and be wearing right now if I didn't buy these hundred items from the thrift store that I never even touched, you know? Okay, so my, my phone keeps uh, overheating. So that's a sign to wrap this up. But basically... All that to say that you just really want to know what you're buying and why. You really want to make sure that there's purpose behind every single thing that you're adding to your wardrobe. Every single thing, even outside of clothing that you're spending your money on, it needs to bring you some type of joy. It needs to enrich your life in some way, even if it's just making you really, really happy in that current moment. You know, so that's all. That's like to me what I think the foundation should be of fashion. And if you can have those tools and kind of figure that out for yourself, you won't become a slave to fashion and you won't become a slave to trends and a slave to trying to buy things to prove yourself to, to other people. You know what I'm saying? So anyways, that's my TED talk. I'm about to run into Pete's coffee and tea because I really want a snack and I want some coffee. So yeah, um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do that and then we're gonna head over to the mall. <sighs> Coffee in hand, no snack because Pete's didn't have what I wanted, but we're headed into the mall now. I think I'm gonna go to Sephora first and then see if maybe I can get a snack from here. Okay, so far I have the Kiehl's Ultra Facial, um, another Dior Lip glow oil and I'm gonna try this shade of the rare beauty highlighter but now I'm in the Sephora collection area because I want to find that mascara and I'm not sure where it is so let me see if I could find it pants fit but alas they did not um I ended up not getting another one of these because after thinking about it I was like you know they probably all more or less look the same color so there's no point in me buying another one until I'm out of this <laughs> you know there's these come to Jesus moments we gotta have with ourselves you know but all time let's talk about what we did get so I got the Brazilian Crush, um, this right here. I was really wanting the bigger one because it just, it smells so good. And I'm gonna spray it right now, but the notes, it says amber, black amber plum and vanilla woods. And I love amber and vanilla and fruity type of like fragrances like this. So let's see. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. smells so good you know what it kind of reminds me of it reminds me of a variation of do you guys remember the the um mac fragrance that was like in the blue and green bottle it kind of reminds me of that but with a little bit of extra something like maybe a little bit more i don't know vanilla i don't know it smells amazing though like i could truly see myself buying the bigger bottle of that i also was able to find the sephora collection mascara this is called the size up 
And then I did want to try the Rare Beauty highlighter in this shade right here. It just looks so pretty. I didn't actually need it. And like I said, these things last forever, but I just for fun wanted to try it. And then I got my face cleanser that I ran out of. So yeah, that's all I got. It's all I needed to get. It's a good thing that those pants did not fit me because they were $200 and I didn't need to get them. Now I'm about to, what am I about to do? It's Sunday. I need to just be disciplined and go home. That's what I need to do. But if I stop anywhere else, I'll tell you guys. So I found myself in Walmart to pick up a few toiletries, but I'm in the clothing section. They have a few really cute, like cozy things. Like I'm gonna show you this tie-dye velour set that I think is really cute. Okay, look at this right here. It's like this green color and then they have like, this blue and this reddish color right here. Like that could be really cute if it's styled right. What else do they have? This is very much giving Frankie shop. So if you like the Frankie shop quilted button up, there you go. They have some really cute fun color puffers, um, even golds. Anyway, I'm in here just to kind of see if I could find some like warm sweats or something for my daughter for school because it's been kind of chilly and she needs more winter clothes we just haven't had a chance to shop for her yet so <sighs> going over to her section to see what they have i think this is so cute i like the little balloon sleeve and i think she would really like this i also like the way that it's lined is my camera okay maybe that's a little bit better so I'm trying to figure out if I want to get her this. Definitely not going to get her white. She will destroy that. Or should I get her a size up and get her like a seven in red? This could be really cute for the holiday. I think I'm going to get her the red. You guys, this is so cute. Look at that. The set together, so I think this is like fit. So this is 16 and this is 26. So it's that 36, 42 for this. I don't think that's too bad actually. I kind of want to get that for her. And I know she'll really like that. And you know what? She can actually wear this sweater with it too. So she has options. Okay, maybe I'll get her these. Oh my gosh, this is like the cutest little jacket. Total Frankie shop for the kids. How much is it? 35, that's not bad, but she already has. I just got her another jacket, so <laughs> as cute as that is. And she already has a green Zara one that's reversible. That's the same color green that she loves. This one is even super cute. Okay, let's see about the pants. Ooh, these are so cute. Shut up, how cute is this? Oh. And they have it in black too. I have to get her these. I wonder if there's like a matching sweater. Okay, I'm in trouble. Okay, I need to find her some tops to go with this stuff and then we're done. I'm gonna get in so much trouble. Ooh. Here's the matching bass. Okay. Oh my gosh, this is so cute. Okay, so I found these like little short sleeve thermals. Like that could go with that so cute and then she could wear like the little vest with it okay and then they also have this green color but i don't see her size so i'm gonna try to go through here to see if i can find her size anywhere else you guys i am so dead look at this this is so cute 
$26. I don't think this goes with any of the things that I picked for her, but maybe I'll have to come back and get that. Oh, here's some like little knit pants down here. Mm, they have it in like black too. That actually would make more sense. Let's see. Oh my gosh, how freaking cute is that? Okay, I'm in trouble. Okay, an unplanned $157 later, but I got her the cutest outfits. The only thing I didn't get was the like cream and blue plaid like little set because out of everything that was the one thing that it can go with a lot of the other things and i also didn't get the red fuzzy sweater but everything else i got can kind of like mix and match with each other which with each other and then i'm going to show you some shoes that i got her too okay so i also got her some shoes the only thing is is i'm not sure if they're going to fit her because her feet are growing so fast i'm not really sure her size right now so i got these which are super cute and these match everything that I got her. And then these also match everything that I got her, which I thought these were super cute too. So I'm going to try them on her, like when I get home and see if I need to return anything. So yeah, um, where is, oh. So yeah, more or less, uh, I think I'm gonna kind of like end the vlog here. I do have a, um, haul coming up so stay tuned for that but other than that i'm not really doing much today except preparing for my week so i love you guys so much uh thank you for joining me on my like little two days of just doing whatever and i will see you guys in my next one bye